it smell good. Cause it smell good on you, okay? No, don't eat it. Cause it smell good on you. See if I can tell y'all the uh, story of Apollo. So we gotta let him go. <sighs> and this uh his last day you know, in his phys in his physical uh form just today. Today uh March the eleventh. <sighs> it drew the short stick. <sighs> it's not even that old man. It just sucks, man, because best dog ever. <laughs> I just want to be able to tell this story, though, so I'm going to straighten up, man, so y'all can hear me out, though. Um, uh, he was diagnosed with um, osteosarcoma. Um, that's a, a quick bone cancer. Um, but bone cancer is very aggressive, you know. It was like even if we were to you know spend the money to radiation and cut that leg off, you know, it's still you know a chance they can come back quick. And, and then I just didn't want to see my boy, cause my boy a working boy, and I didn't want to see him you know bounce around on three legs, and having a less than life. So we toughed it out as long as we could. Oh, he was diagnosed uh, in December, so you know he did live pretty comfortably for a couple months. He had a little slight limp, and then the limp got heavy, and it got aggressive, you know. Started off just a bump here. Um, of course, it took over this whole leg now. Uh, but, yeah, it's my boy last day, man. But I'm going to tell y'all the story of my, uh, I'm going to tell y'all the story of, you know, how I got my boy. Y'all work with me, GMP fam. Oh, trying to get this out, man. I'm trying to get this out. For my boy, um, yeah, uh, and my fam, you know, just to know. Um, so, whew, back in 2017, you know, we're looking for, look, I was looking for a dog early 2017, looking for a dog. We had a pit bull at the time, of course, I come from pit bulls. Um, so I thought it would have been relatively easy to, um, you know, find a rock roller. Um, I'm here, I'm here in South Carolina. Um, actually, tougher than I thought. I didn't really know much about him, you know, I just, you know, I had a male pit bull, I always wanted, like, you know. A strong presence and um a pit bull he was he was rough house you know couldn't get him like trained like he, he's trained when i'm there but when i'm away he like as soon as i step out of his vision he, you know it's a whole different dog you know it's like digging holes 
and then I couldn't take him anywhere because he you know, attacked people. But uh, we just kept posing, posing. It was like a, you know, a buy and sell trade thing from like Lawrence County or something like that. Oh, Lawrence West West shows. Um, maybe West shows, West shows. I, I was I was I joined every group I could. You know what I'm saying? Just looking for a rock ball. I tried create list and everything, but it was, all that stuff looked scammy. And of course, you know, I'm not used to the type of money that you typically pay for a rock ball, so couldn't find it. Um, I was having trouble really. Finally, there's a lady that uh, had two rock rollers, a male and a female puppies. Um, and she had got them. I guess she, she got them originally to, to breed, but um, the, she had she bred smaller dogs as well, so you know, they just uh, turned out to be too much for energy wise, like a big size wise. You know, raw rollers they sprout up real quick. Um, at the time period, Apollo was like uh, 16 weeks. Got got to them all. Uh, I said, dang, that's a big puppy, you know what I'm saying? So I was a little nervous when I first, first met him, honestly. Um, and then, I, you know, we had him in a little cage, took him to my mama's house, you know, and then uh, he was sitting in the cage. Um, then a dog walked by, and then he jumped up. <laughs> I like, oh, snap, boy. The dog might be aggressive. <laughs> but now nah, we let him out. He was called, man. And I was like, dang. So he was just, you know what I'm saying, he was protecting his territory. He was being a guardian dog at that time period. When we first got him, he, when he finally he realized, you know what I'm saying, this is area, another dog came by, he protecting his space. That's what's up. And that's how he been since then, man. Sweetest dog ever known, man. And um, the reason I'm in the Rottweiler game now, you feel me? I probably never love another, you know, dog breed like I'm, you know, loving rock rollers and it's all because of Apollo, man. He's um, he just caught the short end of the stick, man. But uh, I'm blessed for the years we had with him. You know, that's Ava back there. She's gonna miss him too. She see a whiner. She don't. She don't know. Sometimes I wish um, you know, dogs can talk. You know, so I can tell them, tell them. But I, you know, sometimes I feel like he knows, man. I feel like he knows. I don't know. You check him out. See him right there. I feel like he knows. Oh, yeah. And you know, um, I'm very objective, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm I'm an accountant <laughs> also. So I'm very objective, you know. I know, you know his flaws as far as uh, appearance, you know what I'm saying? Even though <sighs> we bred him once, you know. Of course, I you know I just love dogs, so I just had dogs. Just got into breeding last year, actually. Mm, bred them once, you know, and those dogs turned out marvelous. Um, you know, I'm a studier, so I, you know, so I studied. I knew he had like you know stuff I didn't like, you know. So I found a dog that that also you know had stuff. I think it was that stuff I didn't like, but it's like the opposite, you know what I'm saying? Where I felt like his ears were too long, you know what I'm saying? I found somebody, some, a dog, the ears too little, so I was hoping, basically. Just, you know what I'm saying? Hoping that, you know, you put you put two and two together to equal, you know what I'm saying, a good-looking pups. And, and they work. It worked. Now, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not no, no um, DNA specialist or nothing like that, but it worked, you know. I know in the future, I'm looking for, like, consistency where, you know, we're going to be flowing out the same puppy, the same puppy. But I'll be dang. If you want to dang, you know what I'm saying, get three plus one and divided by two to get that two that you're looking for, man. I, did, I definitely did that on all five of those pups. So, um... I felt like his uh his snout was a little long, and I, uh, but I liked the bulkiness of it, you know. And then you know all the puppies came out. It's like how I want them to be, you know. Some of them even got like a, a tall, uh, what you call that one, the, the forehead area, basically. Um, which I did, I definitely love that. And that's crazy, you know. what I'm saying that that's a testament to uh, Apollo's pedigree, you know. You know, his, his daddy was actually 150 pounds, man. That's a big rock roller, you know. Mama was, you know. A little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, but she's uh, his mom was, I ain't gonna say a little bit, cause she was she was like 95 pounds, but she was you know skinny, you know what I'm saying? He, so he came out with that smaller frame, you know, and he's uh, Apollo maxed out like 107, 108. He has his puppy, that boy. I don't know if you guys seen my previous. Oh, I ain't put it out yet, but you'll see it, man. You'll see it, cause I bred him with Ava a little bit over there, but he's uh, he's 110 pounds now, and just over one, so. We did a great job on that litter, man. But yeah, that's all, man. I just want to tell you guys the story, of Apollo, man. You know what I'm saying? Good, great big kids. You know, 16 commands. It's a great overall dog, man. We did everything together. Everything.
it's gonna be rough, man. You know, people, you know, get get dogs, you know, oh, that dog moves too much, or that dog does this too much, or that dog digs too much. Nah, this Paulo was perfect. That's the problem. He was perfect, you know, as far as like temperament, man. He always does the right thing at the right time, man. Especially once he turned two. So if you got dogs, man, you get two and three. Rock Rock's you know, I'm fully grown to their three, really. So <sighs> give him patience, man. Especially if you got these Rock Rock's, man. Give patience, man. Patience is the key, man. Those females are they're a little bit more energized, but they're great dogs, too. As adults, I mean. When once they're adults, all the puppies are energized. So as adults, man, the males are calm. They do their job. They get it done. But, yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. I might give y'all a couple clips of, you know, today. Because today is when we put them down. I might, or this might be it, so I don't know, depends on how I feel, appreciate y'all for watching again, man, make sure y'all <sighs> like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, GSP Riders, started with my boy Apollo, mm. we're about to step up quality, because I want to, I want to, you know, want to make his name mean something, you know, so if I started because of him, I'm going to make it on the best. Bow. Good boy, Paulo. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. All right, we got you loaded up, big dog. Love you. Here goes nothing, y'all. Here goes nothing. But he got this sedative. <sighs> he can now sleep in. Pain. Uh, he took on. Uh, let me step on you.